This week, we take a cooking lesson at Paddlefish. And then we head to a blast from the past diner inspired by Saved by the Bell. Plus the latest theme park news and more coming at you from the attraction studio at Give Kids the World Village right, right now. now. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. As you can see, Quinn is not here. He and his family are out on the Disney Magic cruise ship right now, taking part in Marvel Day at Sea. Disney was really kind enough to invite us out there to cover all the events, so you can follow all of our socials to see all that, and then we'll have a segment next week on the show. Yes. But I am here right now. And Banks is here, and I'm jealous of Quinn, but, you know, <laughs> that's okay. We all, we go on. Yes. So there was some controversial tweets this past week on Twitter. I hear. So Disney uh, CEO Bob Iger uh, was quoted in some article talking about um, IPs and attractions and things like that, and he mentioned how, you know, these IPs have, a, I'm kind of paraphrasing here, but right. much enriching, more storytelling than some nondescript coaster in India or something. Mm -hmm. People are starting to take that as a jab toward Expedition Everest and thinking that he's talking about how he hates these original rides that are nondescript. But the way I kind of understood it is he wasn't really talking about Everest. He was just mentioning a random country and just mainly talking about nondescript coasters, kind of things, places you would see at like Six Flags or random amusement parks where there's no real theme to it, it's just a coaster. Mm -hmm. Everest is a really th big theme to it, so right, I right. doubt that's what he was saying, but he had to go and kind of defend himself. Right. I think with someone like Bob Iger, it is so important exactly what you're saying. And, and you know, people are going to twist the words one yep. way or another, mm -hmm. and ooh, it's tough, it's tough. He got caught. He got caught in a little, in a, a word. I think he didn't mean that either. I no. think, you know, it just happened to come out It was just the unfortunate wording of it. Right. But, you know. But at the same time, I still, have, I've got to kind of respect the man a little bit because now he's, he rolled with it a little bit and he's kind of trolling the Diz Twitter community. This tweet about the Captain Marvel, new Captain Marvel trailer that came out. He's talking about how, oh, he wants the Captain Marvel land now and 50 Captain Marvel attractions and restaurants and cruise ships. And I'm just like... Tip of the hat to you, sir. I wait, wait to acknowledge all of hey, this. Hey, you got to go with it, right? Exactly. Got to go with it. Oh, oh, goodness. All right, let's go. We'll be right back after a message from our sponsors. You can save up to 30% on hotel room stays at Walt Disney World with Mouse Fan Travel. For a free quote with no obligation, head to mousefantravel.com. If you're looking for discounted theme park tickets, check out Undercover Tourist, our preferred retailer for discounted tickets to Walt Disney World, Disneyland, and more. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. This News in the Queue starts at Legoland, Florida, where everything just got a little more awesome. Guests will soon be able to stay and play in true Lego movie style, as new Lego Movie World themed rooms are now available to book at the Legoland Hotel. These new themed rooms include all the amenities for kids and adults that families would need, but with a bricktastic twist. You can book your room for stays starting April 8th at vacations.legoland.com. The, the renderings of these rooms look really great. I mean, obviously Lego Movie is a huge hit. The Lego Movie 2 is coming out next month, and then the Lego Movie World's opening in spring, so you gotta jump onto this Lego Movie. Exactly, and they they are. And I know you love staying at Lego Land, oh. taking Spencer, and now Oliver. Yes, it's, it's Spencer's favorite theme park, and so I did, we'll definitely have to go and check out these rooms. April 8th, though, it, 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 that may be a, this could be a hint at the, a possible opening for Lego Movie World. I know they've said this spring, True. so maybe with the rooms starting on April 8th, maybe we'll start seeing the land opening around that time. That would be so exciting. I can't wait. Oh, I love I can't it. Wait. Now, SeaWorld San Diego recently announced plans for Mako, a new dive coaster that will be the tallest fastest and longest in California when it opens in 2020. Riders on Mako will climb 153 feet in the air and be suspended at a 45 degree angle before plunging down 143 foot vertical drop. The new coaster will also feature a conservation element focused on shark awareness and protection and include a partnership with a shark conservation organization. 
I love I love when they kind of kind of share the names of their coasters mm-hmm. because uh, Sea World San Diego also has a Manta, but it's a completely different coaster than the Manta we have here, mm-hmm. and this will be completely different than our Mako. Which is awesome, and I love our Mako. Yes. I love it so much. It's probably my new favorite coaster, and so you know having it kind of replicated but not something a little mm-hmm. different is exciting. So if you come to Orlando and go on our Mako and then go to California, you might get a little taste of something different but still something exciting. Yeah, and it's it's a dive coaster, so it looks like it's going to be like Shikra at Busch Gardens. Yeah. Um, but, you know, Mako. So but it's Mako. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Captain Marvel has officially made her Disney Parks debut aboard the Disney Cruise Line. Yes, sailing on the Disney Magic for Marvel Day at Sea will get to meet the MCU's newest hero through March 8th when her new movie hits the theaters. Not only can guests meet Captain Marvel, but the heroine has also joined the ranks of Heroes Unite, the deck show spectacular featuring many of your favorite Marvel superheroes. We were just talking about earlier, Quinn and, and the Rosebooms, they're on the ship right now. They got video of Captain Marvel, her first ever appearance. See that on our YouTube channel. Yep. Uh, she looks great. Mm-hmm. I cannot wait for this movie. And I once again want to be on this cruise. I know. She looks awesome. It's very <laughs> exciting for everyone on board. And I hope that she makes her appearance soon in the parks because I'm ready to meet her. Well, I, know, I definitely know she's going to Disneyland Paris for their Marvel uh, season event. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sure there's probably plans to get her over to California. Obviously, we're probably not going to get her at all here. Thank you, contract. Yeah. But, you know. Sad. Oh, well. The cruise is right, you know, right down the road for the Port Canaveral, so we can yeah, see you on the cruise. Yeah, now I just have to go on a cruise. Exactly. Obviously. <laughs> now, the opening date has been announced for Hong Kong Disneyland's newest attraction, Ant-Man and the Wasp Nano Battle. The new arcade shooter-style attraction will open March 31st. The ride will feature interactive elements, a visit to a shield science and technology pavilion, and an encounter with Arnim, Zola, and Hydra Swarmbots. That is just around the corner. That is, <laughs> and it really enriches the whole... What they're calling the Marvel theme park universe right. too. They um, they mentioned that they actually got Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly, who played Ant Man and the Wasp, to reprise their roles for the rise. So that's really cool. Kind of like the idea with Guardians. That's I'm awesome. excited. Oh my gosh! There's going to be so many Marvel announcements this year. I mean, with all these Marvel lands coming to all the parks, it's just oh. It's overwhelming, but exciting. It's very exciting. <laughs> Marvel. Winter brings us a new year and a brand new issue of Attractions Magazine. Prepare to get soaked on SeaWorld's new record-breaking rock ride, Infinity Falls. Find out what's new and what's come and gone in the world of Orlando's dinner shows. Read about how Disney's candlelight processional got started and grew to be a fan favorite. Plus the latest news, rumors, and more packed into every issue. Get your copy and subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com in print or digital in our app on Nook and Kindle. We sent our reporter Brennan to check out some cookie lessons over at Paddlefish in Disney Springs. Hopefully she brings us back something. I'm starving. Have fun, Brennan. And be sure to you grab a to-go bag on the way out. Elisa can get hangry. Hey, I heard that. No, I didn't say anything. Hi guys, I'm Brennan and I'm here at Paddlefish to attend a very unique experience that not a lot of people know about. Paddlefish is offering a cooking class, so I'm excited to head in and check out and see what they have to offer. We're going to do a couple of um, items that are what I would refer to as slow food, um, because I think holidays are about family and hospitality. Um, so we're going to do risotto, something that if you don't love the risotto, it doesn't love you back. So we're going to do that. The second slow food item we have is um, is a braised item. We're doing um, a short rib, and I've given you a recipe that's kind of a straight up the middle um, braise for uh, for beef. So we're going to show you how to braise uh, braise a short rib. And again, another dish that if you don't love it, it won't love you back. And then for dessert, we're going to do one of um, one of the paddlefish desserts that we have that kind of says uh, kind of says holiday, um, and that's a bread uh, bread pudding. Another one that's technique driven. Once you learn how to make bread pudding, uh, today we're going to do an apple bread pudding. Once you learn how to do it with apples, if you see beautiful cherries, you can do it with that. If you want to do uh, raspberry white chocolate bread pudding, you can do that.
getting buttery. It's got the right amount of Parmesan in it. Same, oh, it's all like the same butter. can. That tastes so good. You fit it in. You taste the butter. Like you lid, in it. Right? And so you saw that it cut this it. would go it's on. Amazing. He's made by his nature, a short rib is that. I'm still trial um, at heart, and, and I'm not a huge vegetable person. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh my! That's not bad. And you can mask it with a little bit of bacon. Leftovers from what he was making on the short rib that we had. It's And as you saw, that was the cooking class here at Paddlefish. We learned a lot of great stuff on how to cook. I think the thing that I learned the most was how to take all those leftovers and make them into another meal on the other day. Um, these classes were with our executive chef here at Paddlefish. And for more information on future classes about cooking and even stuff like mixology, you can visit paddlefishrestaurant.com. I think each and every one of us goes above and beyond. We do everything for our clients that we could possibly do. From getting up at 3 a.m. to get the best deal for them when it comes out, to staying up late at night to send them their documents. We like taking the stress off of you. We'll stress about it, you go have fun. MEI and Mouse Fan Travel is your expert source for no fee travel planning. Visit mei-travel.com for a no obligation quote today. Skip the lines with undercover tours, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. Banks, have you ever wished that you could travel back to the 90s for a day? <laughs> Only every single day of my life, and I grew up in the 90s. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm about to make all of your wishes come true. Ooh. A new pop-up restaurant inspired by Saved by the Bell has popped up in California, and our reporter Jeff got to check it out. Well, I'm packing my bags right now. Hey, sh save me a shake, Jeff. Hey folks, Jeff DePaula here reporting for Attractions Magazine and I am at Saved by the Max in West Hollywood, California. Now, if you grew up when I did in the 90s with a TV show called Saved by the Bell, you need no explanation here, but if you didn't, we are in a recreation of the very famous restaurant from the show called The Max and all around us we have Bayside High banners hanging up, lockers, we'll go on a little tour in a bit, but of course it being The Max, we gotta get some food, so I got my menu here, oh, say by The Max. And I got myself some AC sliders, which is some pork sliders, sounds really good. Also got myself a Bayside burger, but they have tons of different things, stuff like Mac and Screech, the Snow White and the Seven Dorks, the, what else, they got Tori's Fried Chicken, Beet Valley Buttermilk Pancakes, tons of stuff here. So we're waiting for our food and we're gonna go explore for a little bit as well. So uh, yeah, let's check this out.
here in Mr. Belding's office with Zach, actually. Uh, that is actually your name. Legal name. That's probably half the reason I got the job. Okay, and uh, you work here at Saved by the Max. Yeah. How long have you been here? I've been here since day one. Wow. Yeah. And the response has been crazy. Man, if you if you would have told me this was what I've been would have been doing a year ago, I would have never believed. You're a little younger than the show, but of course you had, you had to, you studied up on the show. So of course. Any favorite course. moments or episodes that you recall? Um, the sprain, for sure. Oh, the, yes. the dance scene, yes. was super cool. Oh, has anybody recreated it? Out yeah, I, actually on the stage, we've had a bunch of people get up there with the crutches and do the dance. That's um, amazing. One guy lost a bet, and so he actually showed up in a, uh, like a wrestling onesie. Okay. And uh, <laughs> took all of his clothes off except the wrestling onesie and did this slate dance on stage it was phenomenal That's everyone so cool. was cheering for him it wasn't planned it wasn't people came up afterwards and they're like oh that was so cool you guys did that and I was like that I don't even know who that is that wasn't us <laughs> we had a uh, Ed Alonzo in Max mm -hmm. and he brought his applause meter oh in. cool and man I, I've never heard I, I've been to like shows around the area and stuff I've never heard a crowd that loud before that's so cool. That, you've awesome. had a ton of cast show up. You mentioned Ed Alonzo, but who yeah. else has come through um, here? Ed's been in. We had um, Slater come in, which is super cool. Um, Belding's come in a bunch and done some appearances. Mm -hmm. they, and they'll, they'll pop in every now and then to say hi. Um, we, we had a, an event, uh, like a Saved by the Bell day. Mm -hmm. We had a bunch of the cast members come like answer questions and stuff. We were giving out cheeseburgers. It was really cool. My AC sliders have arrived, so let's take the first bite and see how it is. By the way, as you can see, it comes with this uh, Saved by the Max paper. Free souvenir. Hello. First bite. Looks messy. Come on. Now this is scheduled as a limited run, yes? That's correct. Um, how limited is kind of up to the community. Okay. Um, you know, we'll be here as long as it makes sense for everyone. Yeah, and it's, I mean, it's tough to get a, an appointment sometimes and yeah, well, still so quite popular. We, we sold out the first couple months and uh -huh. I, I think it set the precedent that, you know, oh, you can't get in, you need a reservation and this and that. We actually just started taking walk-ins. Okay. Um, if people wanted to come in, now is the perfect time, honestly. They're here in West Hollywood, so come visit them. Come ask for Zach come hang. at the Max. Have you downloaded our free Attractions Magazine app? It features news articles, as well as every issue of our magazine, available right in the app. Plus, catch up on all episodes of the show, and even view all of our online videos in one place. Download the app for free in the App Store today. Nothing like a pre-run ice cream. We better get started. And that's how we're gonna prepare for the marathon weekend. Right, Mayor? That's an interesting training session you guys have there. <laughs> well, I guess these guys are ready. How about you? Join us for the Walt Disney World Marathon Weekend this January for free when you sign up using the code MARATHONVIP. Then gather up some friends and help us raise money for Give Kids the World Village. It's a free run, a chance to meet the Attractions Magazine staff, and a way to help an amazing charity. Sign up today at gktw.org slash attractions magazine. This week's birthday shout outs go out to Summer Aiello, Robert Bearden, Christopher Avalos, Cricket Lee, Emily Oredo, Bob Bird, Chase Ewart, Hayden Nooner, Tyler Wing, and our very own Banks Lee. 
Yeah, this guy. Oh, hi. <laughs> yeah, uh, the the double threes. I am turning uh, t today, actually, January tenth. Yay! Happy birthday! Oh, thank you. And happy birthday, everyone. Uh, and then I'm celebrating by running on this uh, 5K and 10K for on Disney. So um, if you see me out there, please pick me up. I'll probably be crawling around the five mile <laughs> marker, needing help getting to the finish line. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. If you're a fan of all things attractions, we hope you'll support the content you love by purchasing a subscription to our magazine. Our winter 2018-2019 issue is available now, and inside you'll find exclusive stories, features, photos, and even more that you can't get anywhere else. Head to attractionsmagazine.com store and pick up a copy or purchase a subscription today. We want to thank MEI, Mouse Fan, and Universal Fan Travel, our preferred travel agent. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. And thanks to Undercover Tourist, a recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit UndercoverTourist.com. Give Kids the World Village is a nonprofit resort that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with life-threatening illnesses and their families. To learn more about how to get involved, visit GKTW.org. All right, so we've, we've talked about this plenty throughout the show. Marvel Day at Sea happening uh, aboard the Disney Magic. Quinn's out there. He'll have a report on next week's episode of the show, plus, you know, all these social media posts. And I think he's going to vlog for some Attractions Adventures, too. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to seeing all that. Lots of exciting Marvel coverage. I can't wait. Now, have you been, uh, because the, the day the this episode drops is the first day of the Walt Disney World Marathon. And mm -hmm. as you know, we've been raising money for Give Kids the World Village. And yes. if you've donated, thank you so much. Donations are still being accepted, even though the race has started. So please head over to gktw.org slash attractions magazine. Make a donation if you can. Have you been training? Kind of. <laughs> if by training you mean I ran like the past two days and now I'm very sore, then yes. <laughs> yeah, basically I've cut out the donuts and I've been just trying to walk a little bit more because this is my first time doing two races in two days. So like I said, I may have to get a little help, uh, but we're all running together. So it's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be like a day in the park, really. Just kind of enjoying <laughs> each other's company. Yeah, I'm super excited. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. <laughs> I, I couldn't do two in a row. No, no, no. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. Grab a cadeau, a cadeau, a cadeau, a cadeau. <laughs> <laughs>